I got a message from a health coach. I know people, especially haters out there, are gonna be like, eh, the end. Like, what are you saying? I know, I get it. Like, so we were exchanging emails back and forth, and she has this program that she brought up to me where she wants to be my coach for. Usually things like that, I'm very skeptical. I probably don't reply to the message because I get so many people that are like, I know exactly what weight loss pro program you should do, and I'm just like, Everyone has so much advice for me, I don't know which one to choose. But the thing is, I've done it all. I've tried everything except for weight loss surgery and except for the program that I'm going to be starting within the next week and I'm freaking out. I'm so excited, you guys. I haven't been this pumped and this amped, this excited and anxious in a very long time. So, <laughs> da, da, da. you guys ready for it? There is a program called Octavia that thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people do. Optivia is a program where they send you fuelings is what they call them. They're like fuels, fuels to fuel your body. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to this. I'm gonna be doing the five and one plan. So what that means is I'm gonna be eating six times a day. It's gonna be all very, very, very small portions. Five and one means I'm gonna eat five of their fuels a day, and the other meal is called the lean and green, which means I eat seven ounces of a lean meat, and then I have, I think it was three servings of a green, like a vegetable. I'm probably gonna choose like broccoli, cauliflower, green beans, and things like that. Things that aren't starchy because y'all, if so many people wanted me to do this, it is very, very like, it's gonna be like a very low carb situation. It's definitely gonna be less carbs than what I'm used to. I can, I can tell you that one for sure. So this is just, it's really gonna help with portion control. I'm not gonna have to think so hard because that's why I fail. I think way too hard when it comes to losing weight and dieting, lifestyle changes. So I'm gonna be doing the five in one plan until I get close to goal. I know that sounds insane. I can't even imagine me ever being anywhere near goal. Twinkie, are you excited for mama? Twinkie just spazzed out. So I just can't even imagine that even happening. But once you get close to goal, you go off of the five and one and you go on the four and two, which is four other fuels a day, but two lean and greens a day. They also tell you how many condiments a day you can use, how many healthy fats a day you should eat on your own and stuff like that. It's just, it's all just there. It's telling you what to eat. It's all super, super simple foods. And that's, this is the very thing that I've been looking for because I can't think of a single reason why I would fail on this. Obviously, I don't have all the knowledge yet. I don't have any of the tools yet, but these are just things that I have learned from hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of research. And I'm not even exaggerating because before I ever want to spend this kind of money or make this kind of decision, I want to just know all the research, honey. I want to know everything. I just I need to know what is going on. So tomorrow I start. I am very nervous. My my excitement has turned into more of like an anxious type feeling because I don't know. I have failed so much in the past and I just feel like this is something so different and just like it tells you exactly what to do and that's just kind of what I've needed and I don't know, I heard the first week is supposed to be really hard because you go through like detoxing and stuff and you guys know I eat so much junk. It's just, it's gonna be really hard and I kinda wanna document that journey and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey guys, so we have a very large unboxing. Today is my first day on Optivia and I am super excited and I want to unbox, it's a lot. I want to unbox all this with you guys, so I have my box here. It's a big one, you can't even, you can't even see it. And it's really heavy. So first thing I have is the Dining Out Guide or Healthy and Think Healthy. This is if I honestly, truly have to eat out it shows you exactly what I can have at a lot of restaurants. Not all restaurants, but a lot of them. This is my shake cup to put my shakes in and my stuff like that. And then just shake it and bam, your shake is made. Boo -boo. So the first feeling I have tried, which I had to eat when I first woke up, was the cranberry honey nut granola. So that's the first thing we got. And by the way, each box, I'm pretty sure comes with seven servings. We have golden chocolate chip pancakes. 
creamy chocolate shake. So the lighting in here is very just like prominent. So I'm gonna switch you guys up more. Ooh, roasted garlic creamy smashed potatoes. Chocolate mint cookie crisp, which I am so excited for. I love mint. Dark chocolate covered cherry shake. Now that sounds good. And the packaging of this is so cute. Rustic tomato herb penne, which I'm excited for. I do have a sweet tooth, but I also have a savory one. We have creamy double peanut butter crisp bar. Another creamy double peanut butter crisp bar. So these gonna be good except two of them. Raisin oat cinnamon crisp. I feel like I'm not too sure about this one. I'm not really a raisin person, oat person, or a cinnamon person, but we'll see. Drizzled chocolate fudge crisp bar. Buttermilk cheddar herb biscuit with Mediterranean rosemary. Oh, okay, boo boo. I have a biscuit up in here. Yep, seven servings. So far, every single one of them is seven servings. And what I love about each thing that is like you have to make, like the penne or the shakes, every single one of these has the instructions on the back. Yeah, good. So, just to give you a random example of nutrition on this program, which I'm so excited for, we're gonna do a little random fact right here. So, this is a biscuit, and it has 110 calories, it has three fat, one saturated fat, zero trans fat, 20 cholesterol, 350 sodium, which is one of the highest sodiums, because this is, to me, a lower sodium diet compared to my normal, trust me. 330 potassium, 13 grams of carbs, four fiber, two sugar, and 11 protein. And what's great about every single one of these is that by eating five feelings a day, you get all of your vitamins, all the vitamins you need. There's probiotics in all these. So I'm gonna be feeling good. Let's hope so. <laughs> Yikes. We have a home style chicken flavored and vegetable noodle soup, which I'm excited to try. We have another little book in there. It's the Octavia Guide, your first 30 days of integration to life form transformation, one healthy habit at a time. So this just shows everything. Wow, the first thing I flipped through was transform with habits of healthy sleep. I need that one for anybody. We have honey mustard and onion sticks. I am pumped for these. That sounds so good. We have some red berry crunchy oat cereal, which yesterday, which your lava program is almond milk that's unsweetened. So I got some of that. So that'd be good with this. We have a caramel delight crisp bar. I heard that this is a lot of people's favorites, so I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff out of the box. So I'm gonna have to keep pushing in because it's it's a deep one now, and it'll just be easier. So hold on. So we have a decadent double chocolate brownie, which I see a lot of people on this program, like when people on this program do what I ate the day videos on YouTube, they always have this one, so it must be good. We have chewy chocolate chip cookie. Ooh, I love cookies. Silky peanut butter and chocolate chip. I love peanut butter with chocolate, so I know that's gonna be good. That was a bar, by the way. <laughs> we have zesty cheddar and Italian herb crunchers, which I'm really excited for because everyone who has talked about this or done reviews on this one or any of the like savory chip type of things they say in the bag is really full and that it fills them up. So that's what I need. We have a wild strawberry shake. I'm not really the biggest fan on stuff like this, so this is probably something I'll have right when I wake up because I'm like never hungry when I wake up, so just get that out of the way. Last food item we have, or smoothie item, is a Chia Bliss smoothie with coconut sugar from the Philippines, kiwi, pineapple, blueberry, and apple. That sounds like super fancy. We have a book, Living a Longer, Healthier Life, which I'm going to read all this. Obviously, it's going to take me a minute or two. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is everything. This is actually a workbook that you write in. Your girl's excited because your girl likes to write. I love me some workbooks. I probably have all the workbooks you can find on Amazon. Like, not even mind. Whoa, this next book is even thicker and bigger. It literally hit me in the face if you go back and watch that. This one's called Dr. A's Habits of Health. Oh my God, look at this. I love this because I like to learn about stuff. Ooh, I see recipes. Okay, okay. Oh, wow, wait a minute. Hold on, I'm just flipping through the random pages. Okay, so this is teaching you. And this part of the book is how to eat once you're off program. Like once you're in like a maintenance or something that's cool that was just one page that i flipped through that is so cool this just is so neat because it's like i would hate to get all of this and be like okay where's the where's the science behind it even though i've done so much research i have been obsessed obsessed like that's all i do lately is just look up stuff about this like crazy hey guys so it's day one of me being on optavia and let's do this thing i got my box i'm gonna do an unboxing for you guys but i have to eat 30 minutes of waking up and drink a cup of water. This is way over a cup, but chug. So if you're new to my channel or you haven't seen already, I have to eat five of their foods a day and then one lean and green a day, which I can explain later in this video. This video is going to be my first week on Optiva. Optiva. Oh, gotta learn how to pronounce it still. And I kind of just want to share my journey with that. I do want to say that my starting weight for this, well, my overall starting weight ever is 560. That was a month ago, but my starting weight on this as of today is 553.4. So I am down like 6.6 .6 this month. So I've opened the first feeling and I'm going to eat this and try this on camera. It's the cranberry honey note granola bar. So I chose something that I feel like might be my least favorite just to kind of get that first taste out of the way. I know that's probably a weird way to think, but let's try it. I'm really nervous. <laughs> it's so good. It tastes exactly like what you think it tastes like. Cranberry honey no nut granola bar. So I have to eat every two and a half hours. So I'm gonna set my alarm for that. Film a video of this unboxing for you guys. 
Okay, y'all. I got all of my feelings set and ready to go. I'm either, because these will not fit in the cabinet. So I have them in these containers, by the way. Three of them. Um, I'm thinking about setting them on the counter. But if it takes up too much space, which our counter is pretty big, which I'm grateful for. If it takes up too much space, we have a pretty big dining room. And I'll just set it on, I don't know, like a table in the corner. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Stuck to everything I was supposed to today. And here is my lean and green for the night. We just have some chicken with a little bit of seasoning. So that's my lean, a condiment. Another condiment I used is this um, herb stuff. <laughs> I also used a teaspoon of oil, so that's my fat. Over here, I have another fat, which is the balsamic dressing. And then we have, obviously, the green. Tons of spinach. And my optional snack, I chose just to have some pickles on the side. We are on day two, February 2nd. And I just woke up. So I'm having a dark chocolate cherry shake. And I'm gonna do a taste test for you guys. I'm gonna put more water in it because I noticed that yesterday when I had the strawberry one that it says put a cup of water in there but I think it tastes better with a little bit more actually a lot better That's better. Okay, you guys, welcome to day three. So it is the end of the night, like way, 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 way at night. And I have a little story time for you guys. So let's get into it. Yesterday, mentally, physically, I felt incredible. I don't think that there is a time that I have done a program or a weight loss journey diet situation where I felt as good as I did and that's just 100% honesty. I was getting into my head so bad. Day one, everything that I ate from the program I liked. I enjoyed all the tastes. I wasn't hungry at all. Day two, I wasn't hungry at all either but the situation was every single thing I tried as my first three, was it three? Yeah. My first three fuelings when I'm supposed to have five a day, they all were disgusting and I'm just being honest. Everyone's taste buds are different. I get it. Um, the first two things I was able to eat and just like not enjoy. The third thing I was literally gagging and that's not an exaggeration. Like I literally almost puked. <laughs> It was the like chicken soup one. I don't know the texture of it. It was just, I, it took every ounce of me to finish that. It was just disgusting. Ugh! So I was starting to get down and out at that point. Um, at that point I had some friends over. We were about to have more people over. We were gonna have a bonfire. And I was just like, is this even worth it? Like this food sucks. But it really doesn't. The everything I had the day prior was great. And then the two feelings that I had later on yesterday in the day were great. It's just, there are gonna be some things I don't like, just like in the real world, and there's gonna be some things I love. The good thing about this is, you don't have to eat the ones that you don't like. You can send them back and they'll send you your favorites back to you. So that's awesome. So we were having a bonfire and everyone was sitting around with their hot dogs and their chips and their this and their that and I'm just like can't have any of it. <laughs> like emotionally I was a wreck but like physically I felt so good. My mind and my brain was like it's like a fog was lifted. It's wild. It's a really wild ride and it felt really good but again I was 
living in fear and I was trying to find tons of excuses to quit. I'm gonna be honest, I was trying to find every excuse to quit and I found one. So I got to thinking. I was like, how many calories am I eating in a day doing this program? So I logged everything into my fitness pal from day one and day two and it was only about 900 calories. So I got a little freaked out. I, I honestly was freaking out. I'm gonna be real. I know a lot of weight loss patients eat around that amount. It's like 900, 1200, and then eventually they eat 1500. And that's how it is with this program. You start off by eating 900. And then once you get closer to goal, you start eating more and they start teaching you how to not eat their feelings, but choose healthier meals throughout the day. And eventually your calories do rise and get higher. And I started getting freaked out. I also had a lot of people in my ear telling me, yeah, 900 calories seems too little and all this stuff. And I was just like getting scared. But the thing was, I wasn't hungry at all. I felt satisfied. And every time it was time to eat again, I was like, I wasn't even hungry. And I just felt really, really good. So I messaged my health coach and I told her, I don't think I can do this anymore. I ended up having brown rice that night which you're not allowed to have on program <laughs> and I had a cup of noodle so I ended the day at about 1600 calories so I was like okay so I'm gonna stop doing Optavia and I am just going to you know eat less and eat healthy why am I doing Optavia like this was the worst idea I've ever came up with. Like I was literally beating myself up. Like you guys have no idea. All because I was terrified about the amount of calories I was consuming. My coach was super kind and super understanding and she kept pushing me. She was like, you can do this. I know you can. Like just give it, give it another week, give it another try. And I wasn't listening to her. I was just like, I really don't think I can do this. And I'm like, I was finding every excuse not to because I'm so just like mental, like let's be real. She was giving me ideas and ways to where I could eat around 1200 to 1300 calories a day, which is so much better because a person my size, you need to lose weight or you're gonna die. A few days ago, I have officially decided not to do Optavia. I have decided this through talking with my health coach, with my girlfriend, with tons of people who are close to me. I thought 800 to 900 calories is not sustainable for someone my weight and if I was to ever try eating more than that I would gain weight it would mess up with my it would mess up my metabolism and I just don't think I'm ready for that low of calorie my doctor was totally fine with this program I did talk to her about it she was totally fine with it until I told her how many calories I'd be eating and then she told me that's just not a good idea. From a doctor's standpoint, she told me just it's just too low of calorie for you or for anybody to sustain in their life. It took me days to decide on this and I just figured I'd let you guys know because this whole video is the ups and the downs of this crazy thing we call a weight loss journey.